What is up guys? Welcome back to Vlogmas Day 11. If you're new here, I'm Daisy. Today I'm going to be showing you how I get my curly hair curly and how I style my curly hair. First off, I just showered. Um, let me go grab my shampoo and conditioner to show you what to use. I use Moroccan oil. I've always used Moroccan oil to everyone who asks me. I'm like, Moroccan oil shampoo and conditioner is the absolute best. I use the smoothing shampoo and then also the smoothing conditioner. It smells absolutely amazing. Everyone always compliments me on the smell of my hair. It's kind of become like a signature daisy scent to all my phone. I just washed my hair with that. It's dried a little bit. It's still kind of damp. So this is literally no product, nothing. I didn't even brush it after the shower. What I actually started doing is brushing my hair while it's in the conditioning phase of my shower. Because I guess it like stretches the hair longer. I don't really know if that's true, but I want my hair to grow. And that's what my friend Addison told me. So my hair is just a little bit damp right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in my Miss Jessie's Pillow Soft Curls. And I put in maybe about like that much as you can see it's kind of like a maybe a little bigger than a quarter And I mush this around and then I just kind of shrink it up into my hair like that This stuff smells really good, too So I literally just scrunch it into my hair and then I usually end up using a little bit more because I have really thick hair so I need a little bit more product, but I mostly try to get it into the damp areas and I prefer when I have curly hair for it to be like very voluptuous and very just like, whoa, got some big hair. So that's why I like to scrunch. I feel like it really makes it just like a little, oof, you know? And then on top of that, I put a little bit of Moroccan oil curl defining cream. I literally only use like that much, like very small amount. And I do the same thing. Smish that into there, like scrunch it. And then I also take the Moroccan oil smooth cream. This is just so it's not like too frizzy. You know what I mean? It smells amazing. It smells exactly like the shampoo and conditioner. That's what I love about Moroccan oil is that everything has the same scent. I don't know how they get their scents to be like that, but it's freaking amazing. If you guys haven't tried Moroccan oil, please go try it. They also like have others like volume rather than like smooth. They have like volume, strength, um, moisture. I personally love smooth because my hair gets a little bit frizzy because it's like naturally super curly as you can tell. Okay, now that I'm done with that, something that I do to make it like extra poofy and extra like, oh, you know what I mean? I take my blow dryer and I don't always do this. However, when I'm in a rush or I want like a specific look for like a photo or something like really big hair, um, I'll do this. But usually I'll just like leave it like this and I'll go out and let it air dry for the rest. However, I love the way it looks with this. Okay. So I put it on the second blowing power and then I put it also on the second heat. So what you're going to do is you're going to scrunch your hair up and blow dry. Don't blow dry down because that's going to make it more flat. But if you want bigger hair, then you go up and like into the roots and you just keep going, keep going. I'll show you. And it turns out looking like this. I honestly really, really love when my hair is like crazy curly and just like super voluptuous like it just like kind of brings out like the lion in me you know what i mean now i'm going to unplug this start wrapping this up and then i get a very very small curling iron i'll show you in a sec just to like get rid of all this little frizzies and just like make it perfect so then i go in with my t3 curling iron and this is a, the smallest attachment that came in the little set i don't really know much more about this oh t3 micro ink something like that model 76584 i take the pieces that kind of look like this and they just kind of look like like what are you doing and i wrap it around and the key is to take small pieces so don't take anything thicker than like I'd say like half an inch, you know, like if you take like a giant piece, it's going to be a giant um, curl, but we want kind of like smaller, uh, more voluptuous curls. So, and for me, how I kind of like judge what pieces to pick, it would be like, like the size of them is if it's already all like connected like this and they're not like separate from each other, that's the piece that I take. So like this one. Example. It just looks kind of like messy, but it's still like a little bit together. So I take that entire piece and wrap it around. And then I'll just kind of like scrunch it up a little bit. So basically you're just looking for like the super, super frizzy pieces. Now you don't need to do your entire head. You only really need to do the top pieces. At least that's what I do. Just the pieces that kind of look like they need to be like tamed a little. 
So that is literally all I curl. I don't really touch anything else. Yeah, and then it ends up looking like this. Super cute, um, super, super voluminous, clearly. We got tons of volume. So I wanna say some like overall tips that I think really make this look the way it does is to make sure that your hair is not completely wet, only like about maybe like 70% dry, kind of like how mine was with some wet pieces. Um, and then, oh, a huge one is to not brush your hair after the shower. I brush my hair during the conditioning phase because it already has the strength of the condition to like keep your hair strong so it doesn't break because it's weak when it's wet. So I brush it either before the shower or during the conditioning phase. But I will not brush it at all after the shower because I find that makes my hair super, super frizzy and then it kind of makes the waves just like, like look kind of awkward. Like, I don't know. It's just like with curly hair, you just can't brush your hair. I don't know why. Like you have to do it before it gets wet or while it's wet, wrap it up again. <laughs> so hopefully that makes sense. It's just kind of like these are little things that I've learned that have helped me maintain my curly hair. I used to hate my curly hair and I straightened it every single day and now I just kind of embrace it because I've kind of found different ways to make it look good and to feel confident in it. So all my curly hair girls, I know you can probably relate to this. I have been through so many times where I'm like, I just wish I had straight hair, but like now I love my curly hair and I really feel like it's because of this routine that I've come up with to make me more confident in it and I just think it looks really cute. It looks really cute in photos too. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will also leave links to all the products in the description box below to make it easier for you guys. Um, I swear by these products. I This is not a promotion at all. I didn't get paid to do this. I use these every time I don't straighten or curl my hair. And let me know if you try out this curly hair routine. I definitely love to like see how it goes for you. Like, maybe send me a picture just through DMs and I would love to see it. And then Or tag me in a post. I don't know. That way I can repost it on my story. Anyways, I love you guys so much and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want more videos like style, let me know. I can definitely do so. But don't forget to check me out on all my socials and I love you guys so much. Goodbye.